I might have found the perfect tool for hybrid shooters who use Adobe Lightroom for your photo editing and Final Cut Pro for your video editing and color grading. This plugin allows you to use the amazing sliders from Adobe Lightroom inside of Final Cut Pro. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the pros and the cons of this plugin, also the price, and ultimately who it's for. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Ever since I started shooting photo and video, I've always used Adobe Lightroom for my photo editing needs and Final Cut Pro for all of my video editing and color grading needs. And I love both programs for the same reasons both very reliable, they're easy to use, and they're also very customizable. However, when it comes to color grading, Final Cut Pro leaves a lot to be desired. I've always wished that Final Cut would implement Lightroom style sliders into its color grading tools because it would just make the transition from one program to another so much easier and it would make the color grading process a breeze. Well, this dream is now a reality thanks to Eric Lenz, who is a street photographer out of Germany. He has created the Lightroom Controls plugin for Final Cut that now gives you access to all the amazing sliders that you find inside of Adobe Lightroom, but you can actually use them to color grade your footage in Final Cut Pro. Now, before I show you how this plugin works, I wanna first mention that this video is not sponsored. It's not paid for by Eric. He did send me this plugin for free to check out to give my honest review of, and we also worked out a promo code for any of my viewers to get 10% off of his digital store. So if you're interested in checking out the Lightroom stuff or any of his other products that he has, you can check it out in the link down below. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to show you exactly how this plugin works. All right, here we are inside of Final Cut. I've got my footage here. This was shot on the Sony a7 IV with 10 bit color in S log 3. The only correction that's been made so far is just the standard corrective LUT that's built into Final Cut. Once you install this plugin, you'll find it in a folder under your video effects and you'll have three different effects here if you get the entire pack or you can buy each of these individually. First one here is the basic controls. I'm going to double click to add that to our footage and we have our standard controls that you would find inside of Adobe Lightroom. So we have our temperature, we have tent, exposure, a contrast slider, which is amazing because Final Cut doesn't have that, highlight shadows, whites, blacks, vibrance, and saturation. There's also a color and black and white control here at the top. Now these controls are pretty self-explanatory. And if you're familiar with Lightroom or any of my videos that you've seen on Lightroom before, then you'll know how these work. I'm just gonna go through and do a nice simple edit and explain things as I go. So with our footage here, I want this to be warmer tent. I'm gonna leave it be for right now. This contrast slider, just adding in that contrast already gives you that nice separation there between your darks and your highlights. Now I'm gonna go down to my highlights and see if I can get some of that information back. And you'll notice if you go too far, that you'll start to see some of these interesting like banding lines and stuff like that. And it's not a problem with the plugin, it's just a problem with the nature of photos and videos are completely different. Video footage, even if it's nice 10 bit high quality footage, it's not gonna have as much color depth as a raw photo. So you can't push and pull things quite as far. So you've gotta keep that in mind as you're using these controls. Uh, my shadows, I'm gonna drop those down and keep my whites a little lower my blacks i'm going to drop that down a bit i'm going to go ahead and add some vibrance which is a cool slider to use in lightroom but now you can actually use it inside uh, final cut all right so i've got my basic controls down i might come back and do some tweaking as i go along next thing i'm going to add in is the hsl panel now this is probably my favorite portion of this because you can manipulate the colors like this inside of Final Cut normally, but you have to use these curves and it's just tough to get precise color selection. So this is going to be a lot better. And then I'm going to just go through and start moving some sliders around to see where things go. Moving on down to the luminance section, this is really where it becomes obvious that photos and videos are two totally different animals. And uh, I'll just show you why here with the orange slider. Um, if I bring that down, that does not look very good. So when it comes to the luminance controls, I would say 
do it very sparingly. You can get away with some of it. Uh, if you're using like 8-bit footage from like older Sony cameras and stuff, then I would say stay away from it. So I'll just go through and make some tiny adjustments. Now that we've done our HSL edits, let's go ahead and add camera calibration. So in here, we can mess with our shadow tint, our primaries, and also the saturation in the primaries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start shifting things around, kind of like things going towards the magenta in the shadows, the reds, see which way I want things to go. Probably gonna move it a little bit in the negative, add a little bit of saturation. Greens, I'm also going in the negative and I'll increase the saturation. And blues, I'll take slightly negative as well. I'm gonna reduce the saturation. All right, so I've gone back through and I made a couple of other tweaks to get it just the way I want Wanted. And now what I want to do is go through and hide all of the sliders and I want to show you just how far we've come with this image only using the Lightroom plugin. So here is our unedited footage and here's what it looks like with our addition of the basic controls. So adding in that contrast, a little bit of warmth, some saturation with the sliders, then adding in the HSL panel shifted those warmer tones a little bit more towards the orange again kind of making it like that golden hour sunset vibe and then fine-tuned it some more with the camera calibrations now that i've shown you how this plugin works i want to go over the pros the cons the price and then ultimately who this plugin is for starting with the pros i mean it's lightroom sliders inside of final cut pro that's amazing. I mean, having basic sliders like contrast and vibrance are really good tools to have. And Final Cut doesn't have that built into it. Being able to manipulate and isolate certain colors with the HSL panel is way easier to use than the color curves inside of Final Cut. And then having the camera calibration is like having cherry on top because that's an amazing tool that I use all the time inside of Lightroom. I also love that you can pick and choose which plugins you want to purchase if you don't want to get the entire pack. So if you don't want the entire thing and you just want the HSL panel, then you can just do that. Or if you just want camera calibration or just the basic controls, you can do that as well. There are a couple of cons for this plugin, but I also have a few things that I would like to see improved on in the future. The first con is that it's very easy to overpower your image with these controls. Now, this isn't really a problem with this system. It's just more so a problem with videos and the color depth versus the color depth that you would get from something like a raw photo. If you're someone who's pretty new to color grading and you got this tool and you started just going crazy with the sliders, you could easily have your image fall apart really quick especially if you're shooting with like 8-bit color or even 10-bit color, honestly, I could see that becoming quite an issue really quickly. Again, it's not really so much a knock on this system. It's just the nature of video color depth and the limitations there. There's also a couple of things that I would like to see improved in a future version of this. And I know that Eric has talked about doing some new implementation with newer versions. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I would really like to see a clarity slider and a dehaze slider. Those are ones that I use a ton in side of Lightroom and I would really like to see what that application would look like inside of this plugin. Another improvement I'd like to see in a future version of this plugin is the feature that you have in Lightroom where you can double click the little playhead on your sliders and it'll reset it back to zero. That's a feature I really love and currently this plugin does not have that. So if it had that, it would just be a nice little touch to make quality of life a little bit better. If you want the entire Lightroom bundle for Final Cut, it is $40 USD. If you want to buy just the basic control panels with exposure, contrast, vibrance, all that good stuff, it's $23 US. If you want to get just the HSL panel, it's $20. If you want to get just the camera calibration, it is $17. And of course, you can get 10% off if you use the promo code down below, but you can do the math on that. And I think at that price point, this really is a great value for hybrid shooters. I know that there are a ton of people out there just like me who have been wanting this nice cohesive way to edit all of your content. And for 40 bucks or less, I think that this is an easy buy. And I also think that this is good value for anyone 
who's just starting to get into editing with the Lightroom and they're using Final Cut for their video editing. As long as you know a little bit about color grading and you don't go too far with these sliders, I think this is a nice way to get a nice cohesive workflow going for anyone who's starting to get into it. But there you have it. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, add some value right back to it by hitting that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And if you love Lightroom content, I've got an entire playlist with some really great videos inside of it. So you should go ahead and check that out. Go ahead. It's okay. Hey, until the next time, my name is Exopac. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.